Chris Parkman, and it hasn't changed. Um, so this guy. So we are dealing with a traumatic ventral septal defect. There are two different etiologies that have we have thought in the past and what I looked up um, of why this occurs. And so one etiology would be to a previous MI that has weakened that ventricular septum. And when you have the trauma impact, it that weak septum just ruptures. Um, another one is a structural compression during that trauma that compresses spine to sternum and the increased pressure in your heart creates that septal defect. So this guy, he's a 74-year-old male who presented to an outpatient clinic with shortness of breath. After digging into his history, we found out that two weeks prior to presentation, he had been stomped on the chest by a horse. <laughs> he had no other extra cardiac manifestations. He just sucked it up, threw some dirt on it, and kept going about his day as he was a strong farmer. Um, when he was in the outpatient clinic, his O2 stats were 98, I believe, yes. And then whenever he was exerting himself, they dropped him 81%. We immediately brought him in and ran some tests on him. Uh, we wanted to rule out that previous heart attack. So we did up here, as you can see, a coronary angiography, and it showed non-obstructive coronary artery disease. From there, we did an echo. You can see these three pictures yeah. on the echo. Um, right here is where that ventral septal defect is in the blood going back and forth. Here's a different view of it where you can see. Um, yeah, so with his history, with that tr structure, sorry, I assume that what happened to him was that structural defect since we wrote out the MI um, and just that crush injury caused him to have this ventricular septal defect. We referred him out for a percutaneous correction of this where they just put a covering on that hole, correct him, and he goes on. There are some complications with that and they ended up having to do a sterniotomy and open him up to do that, but as far as I know, he is doing great. They got that fixed and he's living. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a really good thought. I mean, he, again, like I said, he's a farmer in the South. So even if he was a little short of breath, I'm sure he didn't complain about it. Um, on exam though, he, you could hear the whole systolic murmur anteriorly and posteriorly. So I assume it was pretty bad. I personally didn't get to listen to it. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great thought. And he just was sucking it up until it happened. And I mean, he was working in the field and he used to work every day. And then all of a sudden he couldn't take 20 or 50 steps. And so it was a drastic life altering change. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.